Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to recreate the shortbread cookies from the Apple TV series Ted Lasso. Highly recommend watching it, it's so much fun. And yeah, if you need something else to watch, hit the subscribe button up there and subscribe to my channel. I usually upload videos once a week and let's get started with the shortbread cookies. For the recipe we will use 350 grams of all-purpose flour, 300 grams of softened unsalted butter, 50 grams of rice flour, 100 grams of sugar and 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract. Make sure you're going to use a strainer for both flours, just to make sure there are no crumbs inside. The rice flour will help to give the shortbread a crispier crust. Yeah, so you don't necessarily have to use it, but if you have some or you don't mind getting some, I recommend doing it. If you are not using salted butter, you also should add around one tablespoon of salt. Oh, and use a different bowl to strain the flour inside, not the one for the stand mixer, because you will need that bowl right now to mix the butter and the sugar. Also, cut the butter in small chunks, don't put the whole thing in there and add the sugar. If you don't use salted butter, add now one tablespoon of salt. So, then we're gonna mix it just on like low to medium speed until it is nice softened and a little foamy as you can see here. Add the vanilla extract, add the flour and that's all the ingredients we need. Literally that's it. Then we're going to mix all of that together for like two to three minutes, just on low to medium high speed. And if it's like this, then just take it, stop the stamp mixer and place it in our baking form, which we covered with some parchment paper. And we're just gonna rip the dough apart like small little chunks, and then it's easier to spread it out afterwards. Just press it down with your hands. And after that, what I like to do, it's not necessary, but I like to do it, um, we're gonna use one of these dough dividers and some parchment paper and just flatten the whole thing so you don't see your fingerprints anymore. After that's done, we're going to cover the shortbread with plastic wrap and we're going to place it in the fridge for around two hours, just so that the whole butter and everything can solidify so it's easier for you to mark the single breads, shortbreads, cookies, I'm not sure what to call it, but yeah, so it's easier for you to mark it. I made them like two centimeters white and I made three rows of shortbread. And also you don't have to cut it through completely. It's mainly that it's easier for you to cut them after baking. We're also going to punch three holes in each shortbread, which give it the nice authentic look. And it also helps the shortbread to be baked all the way through. I just use a chopstick for that. And after that, we're gonna place it in the oven by 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius for around 50 minutes or up to an hour, just until they are nice golden brown. If you want halfway through, you can put some sugar on top of it. And don't get it out when it's still hot out of the mold. Leave it in there until it's kind of cold, because otherwise it will break what happened to my shortbread, unfortunately. And then we're gonna cut it into small shortbreads. And that's it, that's the whole recipe. I know, it's super easy and it tastes amazing. Trust me, if you have some friends over just for coffee or something, it's just amazing. And yeah, thanks guys for watching and stay tuned. There are more videos coming. I'm working currently on a whole series, so hit subscribe, more is coming. Thanks guys.